In the face of melting permafrost, it's Tibetan plants to the rescue. I'm Dan Riskin. The Tibetan Plateau is a huge mountainous region in Asia. It's bigger than Greenland, and it holds roughly 10% of the permafrost on the planet. Permafrost is frozen vegetation that doesn't thaw year-round, and it's scary because it can have these positive feedback loops with global warming. As the planet heats up, permafrost thaws, releasing carbon dioxide, methane, and other greenhouse gases into the air, which then cause more warming, which then thaws more permafrost, and so on. The Tibetan Plateau is already warming up at 0.3 degrees Celsius per decade. So researchers set out to model just how much that would melt the permafrost there, and by extension, how much carbon would come out. But as they got to work, they realized there was another important variable to consider. Because it's warmer, more plants grow in the Tibetan Plateau than there used to be. And plants, of course, capture carbon for photosynthesis. Well, it turns out all those plants are having an impact. To the utter surprise of the researchers, those plants are taking up even more carbon than the permafrost is releasing. And using experiments and computer models, the researchers found that as the planet continues to warm, we can expect the uptake of carbon by plants to outpace the release of carbon by melting permafrost in the Tibetan Plateau, making the whole region a net carbon sink. It is only 10% of the planet's permafrost, but the Tibetan Plateau offers a bit of hope that plants will be pitching in to help us save the planet from climate change. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.